I recorded around half an hour worth of footage. It turned out my microphone was off. How <laughs> darn it. I go visit my mom for half a week and then I come back and I'm a complete mess when it comes to recording things. Moral of the story, don't go help your parents because they'll screw up your own life somehow. <laughs> no, don't take that moral away. Help your parents if you like, like your parents. After all, they did a lot to help you become who you are. <clears throat> Even if it might not have been a good way to go about doing it sometimes. Like with my mom. But let's not worry about that. Let's worry about what you missed then, because I had no audio at all. Uh, you missed... <clears throat> not too much, really. I made a few deals. We, we got some scientific research agreements done. Gave me a boost in science. We're currently working on biology, and we actually... Grab this and slide it over. We actually have gotten through quite a few of these things. We got archaeology started. I got my first archaeological dig done. And we picked up a bit of tourism as a result. Along with some more culture. Culture's good. You gotta like culture. And we're working on biology because it's going to give us access to things like the hospital and the grocer, which are all really important things if you want to have a faster growing population. Which, at this point, I would really like that because I have a lot of area that's not being worked by my workers. <clears throat> and oil wells, of course, they're important as well. Uh, then we're going to get into rifling, which I don't really need. But it will give us access to things like the Ranger, which I'm assuming might be a replacement for the, the Skirmisher. And Colonial Constructs, which is another mercenary unit, I'm not worried about that, but Steam Power! That's going to give us access to things like a ranch and other useful commerce related items. <clears throat> and electricity, of course, which will give us aluminum and all sorts of goodies. Now, other important thing, I lost my my status as the host of the of the Congress. Everyone got into the industrial age and they was like, okay, let's pick a new host and Poland kinda nabbed that that from me. I'm not upset. Not really. I'd rather have Poland take it than someone like Spain or Rome, because at least Poland I'm pretty good allies with. But damn it, Poland, if you start messing with how things are being done, I'm going to be upset. So yeah, that's what happened. That's pretty much it. There's not much more to talk about. So let's move on with our lives. Oh yeah, I got frigates now. I got my my guys back home and their frigates. So we can explore the ocean to our heart's content and find islands that have archaeological dig sites on them that I'm going to have to get my archaeologists to in order to get the goodies. <clears throat> uh, currently not at war with anyone. I think Poland is still at war with with Polynesia. Let me check that. Global politics. Yep. Still at war. And we're still friends. Really want to take away his city-state allies, because at this point, having city-state allies is actually pretty important to do. Wait. Can barbarians embark? I don't remember if they can embark. I don't recall them embarking before, but perhaps they do.
I'm at Sedone, and there's not really any reason to be down here anymore, so I guess I'll just get my skirmishers to come back home. Uh, you are still on the way home. Cannon. It's prepared to bomb those guys. <laughs> One hit point. Lucky. Okay, so not much else should be going on for a while. Finally getting a shrine built in Guangzhou. It's a long time to go without a shrine, I guess. I uh, shouldn't have too much else that pops up until either biology is done or World Congress happens. By the way, how are my spies doing? He's schmoozing in Warsaw, which is where you're gonna stay, gang. Yeah, they keep on stealing my my technology, but it's just good to be able to negotiate with those guys. Ah, here's something. See, this is what archaeology is, if you have never seen it before. I can make an artifact, and that gives me culture and tourism, or I can make a landmark. Since I don't plan on expanding any further, especially up in the frozen north where there's no resources at all, an artifact is significantly better. So I will take that artifact, and it will be good, and be put somewhere where people can look at it and go, ooh, artifact, I like this artifact. Artifacts are wonderful. Let's get more artifacts. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much archaeology in a nutshell. And back to grinding away at science and waiting for diplomacy to happen. Fun times ahead. <coughs> oh, happy day! We have ourselves a great musician. Now I can do one of two things with this. I can either make a great work, which will increase my tourism over time, or I can start performing a concert in another civilization to give myself a big bonus in tourism for that civilization. Now, a great work, I think it only produces... I think it might only produce... Um, Tourism, but it could produce culture too. So if it does produce culture, I might have to might have to say, yeah, I will take that. Now, actually, it does produce culture, so it would be a good idea. It would be a very good idea. Yeah, let's do it. We'll see. Beautiful little... Little ditty on that wind instrument, whatever it was. Let's actually hop over to Beijing and take a look. Opera House. Yep, produces culture. And culture is always good to get. No matter what stage of the game you're in. And soon, biology will be done. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, I actually was talking about, in the video you'll never see because there was no audio for me, I was talking about how Rising Tide is available now, and I haven't actually gotten to play yet because I am waiting. I'm waiting until I'm done with this playthrough before I decide, yeah, I'm going to get Rising Tide. But it, it's looking pretty cool from what I've seen. The whole colonizing the ocean, that is pretty fun. It's a libertarian dream here in the US. And honestly, those... <laughs> the people that try thinking of ways of making a... 
making a government free society out in the middle of the ocean. Kinda silly. Just being a little bit silly. And honestly, the whole anarchy thing where there's no government at all doesn't work and they kind of acknowledge that themselves when they're talking about building these things. Because they're talking about being like a locally controlled government thing. And when I hear them talk about it, I'm sorry to say, but it sounds like they're asking for Marxism communism. Marxist communism. I mean, interestingly enough, not a lot of people in the U.S. actually know what communism really is. They just hear it as a bad thing and they assume it's a bad thing and... I'd have to say it's not really a thing that works out very well in practice because it's never worked in practice. But the idea is not horrible. Everyone that argues for limited government, small government, where the people are the ones that control everything in existence, communism is about the people controlling the means of production and not corporations and not the government. That's basically what I hear hear the small government people arguing for. And a lot of them are not really friendly towards corporate controlled means of production, but they would never admit to that. Never. Anyway, we found oil now, so that's good. I have discovered oil right there. I'm going to guess it's the only real places I found oil. Oh, actually, Guangzhou, you have a spot that is going to have oil, and you will be getting that next turn. That is perfect, because I happen to have... Don't I? I thought I had an engineer somewhere. Waiting to be used, but I think I might have used him to get this coal. Okay, that's fine. Next time I get a great scientist or a great engineer, they're going to go and build their their main thing right here on that oil because that's a strategic resource and it's just good to do it that way <laughs> there's actually some reason to settle the city here now on top of the iron there's oil which is important but it would not be a very good city there'd be nothing here that's the problem with the frozen wasteland areas. Can't really get anything good out of them. And soon this boat will be back in my own territory and I'll actually be able to upgrade it. And it can be useful again. Hurrah. Hurrah. 